the Transformer universe went differently? What if Elida One and her Autobots went with Optimus Prime to find the Allspark? Could this change everything? Well that is something we are going to find out today. Also if you haven't already please check out What If Cog Never Died Theory if you are interested in it. Now let's begin today's video. In the siege finale Autobots like Jetfire, Red Alert and Chromia, never got shot and were able to get to the Ark with the rest of the Autobots. While Elida still thinks about staying on Cybertron's ground and save the planet. On the other hand, if one of them died during separate missions, then they will never see each other again once the Allspark has been returned, so she decides to go with the Autobots to save Cybertron. Now because those Autobots never stayed on Cybertron, here's what will happen in the first episode of Earthrise. We would see more of the Decepticons' flashbacks like why they started the war, and such, but also why they harvest the Decepticons' energy, which means that those like Scrap Face would never be alive since Elida's resistance never freed them killing him in the process. In episode 2, when the Autobots were captured and sentenced by the mercenaries, Elida stands next to Prime, hearing him trying to confront the Quintesson, until the mercenaries rescue them. In episode 3 and 4, Elida would tag along with the Autobots, as they encountered Scorponok, but as the Decepticans participated in the battle, she would get very suspicious. Once getting back to the Ark, they are now trapped in the dead universe. Before doing Kingdom, I feel like Elida doesn't do much in Earthrise since she was not on Cybertron, which also means that the arena never exploded, and those who stayed back would have most likely been alive. With that all said, let's move on to Kingdom, but skipping two episodes since Elida wouldn't do much on those episodes. In episode 3, she also tagged along with the Autobots and Maximals as they hunted for the Allspark. When Elida 1 and Optimus Prime were lost, they found an illusion of Alpha Trion, and they would be surprised. As Dinobot gave the Matrix to Prime, Elida thanks Dinobot, and they are now ready to find the Allspark. In Episode 4, the two Autobots saw Ultra Magnus, aka the Allspark so Prime, and Elida have to fight the Allspark, until given the chip by Rhino to cure the sickness of the dead universe. Prime, Primal and Elida now have the Allspark and succeed on their mission. Episode 6, I'll use one of Ultra Primal's reviews and put it to this theory so check that video out and subscribe to him. Now Optimus never found Elida's body since she is still alive. However, they couldn't defeat Nemesis and Galvatron. So they both kill each other making an ultimate sacrifice as their future selves fade out of their existence. They all gathered around their leaders and Elida one ran to Optimus and told him that she will always love him. Optimus replies am I that obvious referring back to Siege. Then sadly dies. The Al Spark is restored and Elida is now in charge of the Autobots. In the post credit scene. Elida went to Prime's favorite place and there was a statue of him saying a true hero. Before touching the statue, she saw someone coming towards her and it was Optimus Prime in a different universe. That is what would happen if Elida went with Prime, including with the Autobots. I personally agree that Elida should stay back on Cybertron so we can get more screen time on her. But what do you think? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.